Breaking overnight, a shooting outside a theater sends it into chaos. Thankfully, no one was injured. Yeah, that's for sure. Deputies, though, are shooting, are searching for that shooter now. 10 News reporter Travis Rice live in Rancho San Diego. Travis, there's a reason why deputies at first thought those shots were coming from inside that theater. Yeah, there certainly was. Initially, the calls were coming out of the inside of the theater here, so that's why deputies responded to it as an active shooter situation initially. People inside coming into the lobby after seeing a movie, only to see a whole bunch of squad cars outside. Uh, we decided to go out the back, and then some other kids came out too. And then uh, after that, we saw a cop and told him if it was okay to go to our cars. He told us no, just stay put. Then had us go by the dumpster where it was safe. They checked everything, made sure everything was okay and then just had to sit up front for a little bit and let us go home. That's what it was like for people inside that lockdown for about an hour and a half. Now deputies say an altercation in the parking lot led to gunfire. Then two suspects fired shots at the victims before speeding away in a silver Honda Civic. Because of the proximity to the theater, again, several of the 911 calls came from inside of the theater. So deputies responded to this as if it were an active shooter situation. Deputies surrounded the theater and parking lot and were able to determine the shooting happened outside the theater and follow up. Uh, they followed up afterwards with the three uh, juveniles who had been shot at. Again, no one was injured, but they interviewed the juveniles. They released them to their parents. But again, they are still searching for the suspect that fired at them. It is believed that he drives a gray or silver Honda Civic live in Rancho San Diego. Travis Rice, 10 News.